Hello, it's Jen. Thank you so much for um, joining me either live or um, watching this replay. The purpose of today is to give you an opening uh, 10 minute meditation, sound healing meditation, and then also to answer any questions about my upcoming sound healer training that's happening in Los Angeles, uh, April 20th and April 21st. So thank you for those of you who are joining me. And I also want to give an extra thank you to all the people uh, who have recently been following me. Um, there is a video that has gone viral. So <laughs> it's a little bit overwhelming because I've been a very small account for so many years. So to see um, a lot of new people. And I really hope that these are not bots. I really hope that you guys are like genuine, genuinely interested in um, healing and different forms of he energy healing modalities. And so with that, hello, hi. Um, I'm just gonna open us up with a sound healing meditation. So if you're able to get in a comfortable position, if you're able to just relax, um, if you're driving, you know, if you want to pull over, um, either way, if you want to watch this later on, what have you, but we're just going to like tune in and relax for the next 10 minutes with my sound bowls. So let's get started. All right. So when you're ready, go ahead and close your eyes. Exhale out the mouth. Inhale. And exhale. One more full inhale. And exhale.
right, so go ahead and slowly begin to bring movement back into the body. Wiggling the toes, the hands, stretching if that feels good. And just do anything that helps you to come back. Feeling more alert, awake, and aware. And thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you. <laughs> um, let me move you closer to me so I can see you all. Um, I hope you enjoyed that little mini meditation. I personally absolutely love sound healing. I'm a big nerd about it. Aw, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Images I see. Oh, I love that name. Aw, 823 Hong. Wow, thank you so much. I really <laughs> enjoy this. Thank you, thank you. My life, my journey, mine. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you. So hopefully um, you could stick around um, if you have any questions. So I am Jennifer and I am the creatrix of the Mystic Living School and I offer training and coaching and also um, individual, um, individual healing sessions. And I've been a practitioner for pretty much my whole adult life. Um, and I now get the privilege to teach. And one of the things that I am really passionate about is, um, sharing the modality of sound healing. So, um, I've been teaching people individually. And then I also do this, uh, group training, uh, once a year. Are you welcome? Thank you. Steal Stilervo Vero. I'm so sorry if I totally screwed up your name. <laughs> Steeler Vero. Steeler Steeler Vero, maybe. Um, yes, thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Best lunch. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, anyway, so I uh want to share with you, you know, a little bit more about my sound healing training. And then hopefully if you are new to me again, I just want to thank every new follower. Um, I've been a very small uh, account for many years. Um, and so I'm appreciating all of the new followers and I hope you will stick around because I do do a lot of these, um, you know, in between sound healing meditations. And that's also another thing. If you guys have any feedback, if you want more of these, if you would like me to do them during the lunch hour, I definitely will. For this month of April, I will definitely be doing that at least once a week. But um, for today, it's a Q&A. Um, if you have any questions about my sound healer training, which is happening in Los Angeles at a private residence. Yes, it is in person. Um, I'm in the Los Angeles area. Um, my training is happening April 20th and the 21st. And you will get the uh, address after you register. And it's a two day training and it, we go from 10 to five. We have a hour lunch break. And essentially what we're doing is it's really about hands-on uh, training. So if you want to learn the techniques, how to facilitate either a sound bath or how to facilitate working with different types of sound healing tools, whether you're doing this for a um, for an individual or you're doing it as a community or an event, um, those are things I'm going to be teaching you. I started working with sound healing um, professionally back in 2012. So I have, um, you know, plenty of years of experience of creating my, my style. And my point is to teach you how to tap into your own unique style as an intuitive healer, as a sound healer, and how to provide your community with these um, intuitive healing experiences using sound healing. So um, you're going to be learning techniques about how to work with the singing bowls. So this is one of the bowls. You'll learn about how each bowl is associated to a chakra center. So you'll see here it's upside down. <laughs> So you're going to learn about what does that mean? What does sound healing have to do with our chakra system? 
what does that even have to do with our health, our mental health, our physical health, our spiritual health, our emotional health? Those are things that I'm going to be talking about with you so that you can be able to tailor how you want to work with sound healing if you want to do something more along those lines or if you just really want to give people a restorative experience, you want to help people who have a lot of stress. Um, my focus, my population, my community are um, women of color, so BIPOC community. So if you're looking at promoting uh, wellness and health in our BIPOC communities, which are oftentimes underserved, um, this is a great opportunity to be able to give back to your community that is very nurturing and very comforting and soothing. Um, when you start incorporating sound healing, it's also an opportunity where you can work with other agencies like schools, um, other nonprofits, government, uh, corporate wellness, hospitals, uh, yoga studios, uh, I once a year during springtime into the fall, I do these nature sound baths and that's community based. So those are like donation based. So it's a great opportunity for me to meet new people um, in my community who want to um, experience sound healing in the park. So that's another fun way of incorporating sound healing. Um, if you, you know, enjoy doing outdoorsy things, um, there's so many different avenues that you can go with sound healing. You don't just have to be a sound bath facilitator, you know. Um, there's just so many different ways that you can uh, incorporate sound healing. So I'm just going to pause here. If you have any questions, um, please go ahead and put in the comments. Uh, I want to be able to answer anything live, um, but I also want to go over the details of, you know, just the things that we're going to be talking about over the weekend. Um, another thing that we'll be going over is if you wanted to provide sound healing or sound baths um, online. So if you wanted to use Zoom, um, that's what I use. So if you're going to be doing some type of like distance healing or a distance sound bath, a distance, um, you know, in that way, I will show you, you know, uh, how to use Zoom and a mic, which mics to use um, that are best suited for uh, your computer. Um, so there's that. Um, you're also going to be learning different other instruments other than just these uh, crystal singing bowls. Um, there's going to be some drumming. So you'll learn about like how to work with the drums, um, a gong, my rain stick. Oh, let me get my rain stick really quick. So working with the rain stick. So I'll show you and teach you how you can incorporate that into your sessions or into your sound baths, different techniques of how to work with the rain stick. I know um, these last few years, the rain drum, I think it is, it's like that round um, drum that sounds like rain. I know those have become more popular, but I guess I'm just old school and I use this one. Um, you'll also learn the gong, crystal bowls, how to work with Tibetan bowls, uh, because there is a different sound and a technique and you can use the Tibetan bowls. The Tibetan bowls are the bronze Himalayan bowls. Um, those you can actually work on the body. You can put those physically on the body. So you'll be learning like where you can place those on the body. If you're wanting to do more, um, energy work for, uh, clients. Um, I have a crystal singing pyramid. You'll learn how to work with, uh, that, uh, a tuning pipe. Um, let's see, tuning forks. So how to work with tuning forks if you're going to be applying that on the body and how to affect the uh, chi energy, the life force energy, um, the prana, um, 
energy to move through the meridians, through moving through the body, helping to improve someone's um, health and well-being. This is a very, um, incorporating sound healing is a very restorative and um, health, I guess you could say, health-based kind of uh, approach. Um, it also helps to enhance your intuition um, because from what I've learned over the years is that in order to access my intuition, I need to be present. I need to be in this, you know, in this now space and sound healing can provide that space for you. Um, you're also going to learn about like what symptoms or like what behaviors, um, are good for using sound healing. So for like example, if you or maybe people that you wanna work with or maybe a population that you wanna work with, um, if they're dealing with a lot of anxiety, um, fear, worry, limiting beliefs, depression, um, chronic stress, um, high blood pressure, um, even dealing with like racism, injustices, um, you know, my population, my, my community is a lot of like people who are in the helping profession. So, um, you know, usually like, and I'm so grateful because like that just tells me that they also still want to take care of themselves. So like helping people to manage that work life balance, because we are taking on, um, you know, so much pressure from what's happening in the world and what's happening to, um, people in our communities and the injustices and everything. So providing some type of restorative experience some type of sound healing experience can help people to just kind of like cleanse away, clear it all out. And how this works essentially is that because our bodies are mainly made of water, 75, 80% of water, the sound waves that you hear so let me just play it really quick. Those sound waves that you hear, it's going, the vibration, even though we might not physically see it to the eye, the waves are traveling. And so when it connects with our physical body, it's moving through our water-based part, like it's moving through our tissue, our organs, right? And it makes it much easier for us to heal working with sound because of vibration. It's called the resonance. It's the sound waves is connecting with our physical body and it's helping our cellular and molecular changes, you know, that science part of it. It's helping us to change the way that our physical body is responding to stress, to health issues, whether it's mental, physical, emotional, spiritual health, all of those things are um, being affected by the sound healing because that sound healing, as I mentioned, if we are looking at it from a chakra point of view, this is for the root chakra, if you're not familiar with the chakra center, that will be something that you'll be learning. Um, but the chakra centers are essentially our, our batteries, our energy batteries. And so in order to feel grounded, this sound bowl is going to eventually match with your frequency. So the frequency, the vibration of this bowl is going to synchronize, it's going to attune with your um, your own frequency and so it shifts. It helps it to get more grounded. It helps it to change. So just like, um, you know, again, depending on what era you are, but back in the day, you know, you used to have to um, change the dial, you know, to change a radio station or a TV station. And on the radio station, you know, you would be changing the frequency. Uh, the radio channel. 
So that's essentially what we're doing with sound healing is that we're changing the frequency with these different sounds and we're helping to improve the health of your overall body. Um, do I offer classes during the week? I offer individual classes during the week. I have private sessions that I do and they could either be in person or online. So it just depends. Otherwise, um, as a group class, I don't do anything right now um, that I'm offering. But if you are interested in uh, private lessons or private um, training, you know, let me know. I can send you my link or we could do a consultation and I can tell you more about it. But this training, yes, is happening uh, April 20th to April 21st. Um, it is going to be a small group. Um, the small group gives me real hands-on and connections with you. So you'll be able to get, um, you know, a lot of my, uh oh, I think I lost you guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but yes, having it being a small class, you'll get a lot of my one-on-one uh, -on -one attention. Um, also during the class, you're going to be learning um, how to practice with other um, people who are attending. So other like-minded people who want to learn about this, who want to develop their skills. And even if you've already taken other trainings in sound healing, or maybe you took an online course, but now like you need that physical, like I want the hands on, or I want another person's perspective on how to play. I also have students um, who come to the training for that as well. So it's open to all levels. You don't need to have any instruments. Um, you can come and if you do have instruments though, go ahead and bring those. Um, that would be great. Um, and those will be just for you. You're, you know, you're not gonna share yours unless you want to, of course. But I'll have instruments there for you to play. Um, also when you register, you um, will get my online course and the online course gives you a, a guidebook. It's for uh, sound healer um, practitioners for beginners. And you'll get a guidebook that gives you all of the information that you need, like what frequency or like what chakra note is for, for uh, or what note I should say, what note is for what chakra, you know, um, where you can purchase supplies. I know that that's a very common question. Like, well, which, what instruments do I start with? Where do I start? And so my question is back to you. Like, well, what do you need to start with? Like, is it your heart? Do you need to get more grounded? Do you need to be, do you want to be more connected to your intuition? So usually when you're on this journey, you want to start with yourself um, before trying to go out and help others with this. So if you are looking for that kind of um, guidance and mentoring, that's what this weekend experience is also for. Um, you'll be able to find out from my opinion and also what it is that you're looking for, what it is that you need. I can give you some suggestions on uh, what instruments to get I know when I first started, I only had four bowls. I only had four of these crystal bowls. And it was like for the first three years, I think. First three or four years, I can't remember. And then slowly over time, I started building um, my my uh, essential uh, healing tools. So, um, so yeah. So let me see what other questions... I should ask, I mean, I should talk about. So right now too, um, I have an offer of $50 off of the training. So if you want that $50 off, go ahead and direct message me and I'll send you the code. Otherwise, I just have it for my um, email list. Or if you want to get on my email list, um, I can send you the code that way. Um, there's a link in my bio on um, how to sign up for my newsletter. 
Um, but otherwise, you could just direct message me. I'm at Mystic Living School. And then let me know, like, hey, I want the, the code for the sound healing training. Um, and then this also is a level one. By the end, you will um, get a certification as a sound healer. So that's fun. I'll be reaching out for a consultation as I'm... Okay, awesome. Yeah, great. Yeah, so just direct message you, direct message me and I can send you the link to book a consultation uh, unless you just go into the link in my bio. Uh, there is a link to book a free consultation. So you could do that too, like whatever makes it easiest. But um, let's see. So I have seven spots left. Um... You're also going to learn like part of the science of sound healing. Like it's not just an intuitive craft and intuitive art, um, but it's fun. Like if you love this kind of like sciencey kind of sacred science kind of stuff, like you will also enjoy this. Um, but you're going to learn about um, brain entrainment. And essentially what that means is that you're going to figure out like how using these sound healing tools affects the brain activity and what to do with certain types of like symptoms or certain problem areas or you want to activate something how can you use certain tools and certain frequencies to affect the brain activity you know or even like for yourself or why binaural beats is something that is very um healing and beneficial for our brain activity especially again with so much going on in the world and there's just an overload of you know um computers and technology like how do we uh get back into our home frequency well binaural beats these different sound healing instruments and those kinds of things so those will be what you're going to be learning about um, and again, I'm a nerd for all of this. So please like ask away because <laughs> sometimes I don't know uh, what questions people might ask. Um, so it's easier for me to answer them when you guys have a specific question. So awesome. Okay. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I hope to see you there. Hey, um, let's see. So we'll look at the therapeutics of working with sound healing you know um as i mentioned getting clarity about what instruments to use like what do i start with how do i hold space for people when i'm working with sound like how fast how slow how to play two instruments at the same time like all of those things are going to be dismantled and we're going to get through it so by sunday you're gonna be like, all right, I know how to play, I know which instruments, you know. Um, but of course, like this is not like a miracle and all of a sudden you're gonna be booked with sound baths and, and so on. But this is a, 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 a way for you to get started and a way for you to build your confidence on actually learning how to play. And it's really not that complicated. What's complicated is getting out of your head. That's, I'll just give you the cliff notes. Like that's, I think the heart, the most challenging part is just getting out of your head and just feeling it. Like one of the uh, things that drew me to sound is because I absolutely love music. Music is my best friend. I could not function without music. And it just felt natural for me at the time because at that point I had already had a bazillion certifications and this and that. And then I started learning about sound healing, which I was actually already using. Um, I used to be a body worker. I was a massage therapist. And um, when I started learning about sound healing, I was like, oh, this totally makes sense. This totally is what drew everything, every other modality. It all started connecting. And it also helped improve my meditation practice because if you're also one that can't really stop thinking or you can't just like get still, when I started incorporating sound healing into my self-care, into my practice, 
I realized how much easier it was for me to settle into my body and to relax and to like calm my thoughts and to relax my nervous system, my fight or flight instincts. I was able to, um, you know, be still. I was able to become more reflective, um, a lot more of like my intuition uh, has come through because of sound healing. So I'm telling you, there's like endless benefits of sound. <laughs> and, you know, the heartbeat, our mother's heartbeat is our first connection to sound. So instinctively, intuitively, we're all just naturally attracted to sound, to healing. Um, and I think that's an important understanding to be clear about is that you know as you explore more of what the effects are with sound healing like you'll realize like oh yeah this is something natural this is something also that our ancestors our our lineage has most likely you know you most likely have come from a lineage of people who were connected to music like I on my dad's side, there's a lot of singers and there's a lot of people like my dad was a trumpet player in high school, you know, um, I, my brother was a drummer, you know, like there's family, there's people, musicians in my family and it just is natural for me and my love of, of sound. And, you know, also as a kid, I was always into like dancing. I mean, I still love to dance, but I just dance at home now. <laughs> But, um, you know, I've always been into dancing. I love music. I used to go to raves a lot when I was way younger. And I just love that, doom, 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 you know, feeling. And it just felt so good. And I just like, yeah, I could feel it. So that's like how I get when I start playing and I, I feel the vibrations. And it's just like, ah, oh, it's so good. Anyhow, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, put in the comments. I'm just looking through my notes here to make sure that I answer any questions. Um, oh, and then you'll also get a resource of like, let's say that you wanted to incorporate sound healing, but you actually, maybe you haven't uh, got any instruments yet, but you want a list of sound healing tracks or albums to get or what I would recommend, you'll get a list of resources, um, a, a playlist of different um, artists or even ones that I have done. Uh, you'll get those kinds of resources so you can at least start incorporating sound healing uh, into your practice or like if you're just doing like maybe a guided meditation or maybe you're a teacher and you wanna like help settle your students you know, you'll have this list and until you get maybe some sound healing instruments or maybe get a couple of instruments. So again, you know, this is for everyone in all industries, the beauty industry, the corporate wellness industry, you know, high executives, um, to also at risk youth, to the uh, disenfranchised, to the underserved, um, it's for everyone, you know, it's across all um, economic status. Hey girl, hi. Um, it, it's across all economic status that we can reach people with sound healing and just the beauty of empowering our communities by this wonderful um, modality, you know. Um, let's see, let's see. <laughs> So you're also going to learn about how um, to work with sound healing and the effects on our nervous system. So learning about our fight and flight uh, instincts or our freeze instincts. So if you might also be someone who works with people with trauma, intergenerational trauma, or chronic stress, anxiety, and so forth, 
we're going to be uh, talking about how to incorporate sound healing uh, tools or a sound bath specifically for uh, helping someone with their nervous system or the trauma responses, helping them to um, release some of that on a cellular level, how to release some of that that is um, very gentle and nurturing. So you'll be learning that how we balance the chakra system with sound. Um, and of course, like learning how to work with multiple um, sound healing tools. Yeah, so let's see. I'm interested in the consultation. I have some basic sound healing training already, but I'd like to learn more about how to specifically curate sound baths on an individual level. Absolutely, yes. Yes, please. So um, I I think if I leave this live, I, I probably will lose you guys. So just go to the link in my bio and then there's a consultation link, but you have to go. I, I changed it recently. Um, but if you can't find the consultation link, can you just DM me? Uh, send me a direct message and let me know that you want my consultation link. Then I can send that to you. But yeah, I mean, that's exactly like I get students who will take like an online training or um, they've had some training in the past, but now they want like more of a curated uh, experience in learning how to create your own uh, sound baths. And my intention, my goal is to always empower people to learn how to craft their their unique style in whatever modality that they're wanting to offer their communities so i'm here just as a facilitator as um one to give you the systems and and tools and ideas i call them recipes i'm just here to give you the recipes but it's essentially up to you like how you want to create your dish and so being able to have this opportunity of being able to teach this now um i absolutely am nerd a nerd for it i absolutely love it um so yes so thank you i would love to have the opportunity um let's see so we're also going to talk about um, how to integrate sound healing and sound baths with other healing modalities. So if you're a Reiki practitioner or you're a body worker, you're a yoga instructor, or maybe you want to do more um, healing ceremonies, maybe you want to have more of some indigenous practices, we're going to be um, talking about how to work with sound healing in those different um, spaces um, medical profession. So also like if you're a psychotherapist, that was actually one of the early things that I did. You know, I, my background is in clinical social work as well. Um, one of the things that I would do with my clients is we would do like a, a five minute, like either, uh, sound healing meditation, or I would use some type of sound healing tool to help them to relax. Cause you know, my, my, um, client base was um, primarily anxiety and trauma. Oh, an LCSW, me too, yay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm still an LCSW, that will never go away, those are my roots. Um, but yeah, like I would, before the session, cause you know, you can't confuse your clients, you can't say like you're doing sound healing and calling that psychotherapy, you can't do that. Um, so the workaround is I would just do it for like five minutes and that would be like my restorative relaxation tool that I was helping my clients. So I got you. So if you guys have questions like that, or you're also a clinician, you know, I have the experience. So, <laughs> um, what's the program structure? Um, what specifically do you mean by that? Um, it's a weekend in-person training. Um, it's going to be at a private residence in Los Angeles. It's April 20th to April 21st. And we're going to be doing hands-on uh, training. There'll be part lecture. But it's mainly working with the sound healing tools and the instruments. And you're going to be practicing on one another 
Um, you're also gonna get access to my online course. So there's another like four hours plus and plus uh, training hours that you will be able to learn how to work with sound healing or how to um, do sound baths online. Um, you will also have the opportunity of becoming a certified sound healer. So this is a, a level one. So this is for someone who has some or no experience. However, all levels are welcome. Um, you don't have to have any instruments. You, uh, If you do have instruments, just bring them along. Um, you will have access to the instruments that I will be bringing. So crystal singing bowls, gongs, my rain stick, uh, drums, um, what else? A tuning pipe, tuning forks, a crystal pyramid, um, ting shaws, different bells. Um, so just, just different um, sound healing instruments that I have used over the years. I started doing this back in 2012. So um, for me as a sound healer, I really use more practical uh, instruments. I don't have like a huge set. I'm also a working mom and I have cats. So uh, I also work from home. Um, so I don't have like a whole like big, huge, gigantic set of all of these instruments um, because, you know, it's more of a practical sense for me. Um, and so if that's also something that you're looking at too, like, well, what are some like really practical, easy storage, you know, um, instruments I can use to start working with or at least like getting started, you know. Uh, let's see, learn the fundamentals to hold space. So yeah, so like if you happen to be one who is really new to like the healing arts, the healing spaces, but you're really drawn to, you're really called to doing more like community work, group work, and you want to start incorporating sound healing or sound baths, you're also going to be learning about how to hold space with sound healing. I mean, I guess technically this would be for everyone because holding space um, can look differently with different modalities. So we'll be talking about like how to hold space using sound healing and then also having moments where we pause and we reflect. And we take a, a silent pause so that we can tune in and listen. That's the important thing about as a facilitator, you're teaching people how to listen, how to connect with tuning into their breath. You're teaching people how to connect to their physical body how to hold space for their emotions. See, this is where I'm gonna nerd out for a little bit. I mean, sound healing is just so dynamic. It's, it's so universal and it's just so powerful because like, let's say you have a client or even yourself or someone that you wanna help cannot quiet their mind, cannot get still, cannot face someone who's died, cannot face a trauma. Like, let's just say we go there as an example. When you start incorporating sound healing and doing some type of guidance, you know, you're holding space, you're the container, you're creating a sacred space you can help people reach places that they never thought that they could reach before. You know, you also help them subconsciously, unconsciously, cellularly. You help us all get back to our roots, get back to our lineage, get back to that voice, that guidance, our ancestors, our, 
our guides, the, the more important things, you know? I don't know. I can get all spiritual and deep on that, on that level. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, I love it. I'm a lover of sound healing. So when you join um, the training, the bonuses that you get, as I mentioned, you'll get the online sound healing portion, which also comes with the guidebook. So you'll be learning, you'll have um, access to all of the information that we're going to be talking about on the lecture portion, but you'll also be getting information on um you know, tips on conducting your sound baths, curating them, um, what vibrational um, frequencies should you use with certain organs or chakra centers, those kinds of things. Um, we're also going to close with the sound bath. So on Sunday at the end of our class, as a gratitude and thank you, we'll be ending with the sound bath. So you guys will all be able to experience that. Also, if you pay in full, you will get a free uh, one hour training with me. So this training could be in person or online, you know, whatever is working for you. And so the cost, you might be curious about what the cost is. So if you do a one time payment, it's five ninety seven, And again, you'll get access to um, the course immediately. And then um, you will have the address as to where we're meeting uh, for the training. And then you also get uh, a free one hour uh, private lesson with me. Or if you need something more flexible, if you need a payment plan, all you gotta do is just uh, put a down payment of 211 and then two more monthly payments of 211. Did you see that little flash go up? Was that an orb? I don't know. Okay, so it's either five ninety seven one time. You get a, a free one hour uh, training lesson with me, or you can secure your spot with just uh, two eleven down, and then in thirty days two eleven again, and then thirty days from that two eleven again, and then that's it. And then also, let's see, in case you want to find out how to get more information, um, there is in my bio a link to the sound healing certification information. There's also a frequently asked question sections there. I hope that I've been able to um, answer those questions today in this live. Um, also, what is uh, the return policy? So this is a non-refundable uh, investment. And the reason for this is because you will get immediate access to the course. And then once we start, you know, like I can't take that back. And, you know, this is my livelihood. This is, you know, my only source of income. I am an entrepreneur. I'm a business owner. Um, so you not only are investing in yourself, but you're investing back into your community. So I am part of my community. So, you know, if that helps you to understand, um, you know, that th these are parts of the things that I have to do as a business owner. So there's that. As a one woman uh, business owner, I'm not a corporation, all that good stuff. So um, what do you bring? You bring yourself, you bring your open heart. Uh, you can bring your instruments. You know, if you have instruments, please bring them. But if you don't, that's totally fine. Um, you'll have some to, to uh, work with. And then just also connecting with community, connecting with other like-minded souls, people who are interested in learning, growing, working with sound healing. You know, you also, what's great about doing these classes is that you feel like you're not alone. You know, there's other people who are curious. There's other people who are open. And especially like if you come from maybe an environment or a family or a partner, 
um, who might not be as open to these uh, types of practices, like you'll be in a small little community of other uh, souls who are wanting to learn and who are wanting to dive into more of these types of practices. So, um, so I think that's where I'm going to stop for now. Let me know if you have any last minute questions, if I can answer them here live. Um, otherwise, if you want to book a free consultation to learn more about my sound healing training, um, you can go to the link in my bio. There's a consultation link in there. Um, it's under like the events, website events and more, something like that. Um, but if you can't find it, just direct message me and I'll send you the link. You know, I don't need to make it more complicated. Um, but yeah, I would love to see you there. Um, I am going to be doing another live next week. Um, I really enjoy um, doing sound healing uh, here on my page. So I hope you can join me for another lunch hour of sound healing. And then um, let me know if you have any questions. I really appreciate you being here live with me or if you're watching the replay. I really am so thankful for you. And um, I hope to see you next week. It'll, let's see, today's Thursday. Yeah, so maybe I'll look at my schedule to confirm which days of the week for April I'll be doing this. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any other ideas and again, Thank you all to the new followers that I have. I'm very grateful and I'm very uh, honored and I hope that um, you will stick around and be connected with this community. There is a very wonderful, beautiful community here of people who want to make a difference in, in the world and in their communities and hopefully you will stick around for that and, and nurture that for yourself as well. All right, well, thank you and have a beautiful day. I'm at Mystic Living School. Um, my website is themysticlivingschool.com. If you have any questions, DM me and I will hopefully see you at the training April 20th and 21st and have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you, toodles.